Novak Djokovic decided to get Novaks, and that's no Djokovic. Last year, the Australia Open and the U.S. Open banned the number one seeded tennis player, Novak, from competing, hurting his career and his quest to get the most titles of any tennis player ever. They kind of stalled him, but it was to no avail because this year he got his sweet revenge. Novak Djokovic won. Take Over a look. the weekend, Novak Djokovic won the Australian Open. This is absolutely amazing news. Uh, Novak Djokovic was deported, if you remember, last year from the Australian Open, uh, from Australia. They, they actually wouldn't even let him compete. He is the world number one. He is arguably... Uh, the best tennis player to have ever lived, actually. I know a lot of people think about Federer, they think about Nadal, but actually Novak Djokovic is, when you look at the stats, actually a better tennis player and has more wins than them. In fact, right now, after winning the Australian Open, he has 22 Grand Slam singles titles. That is uh, tied with Nadal. Uh, Roger Federer has 20, Nadal has 22, now Djokovic has 22, Serena Williams has 23, and uh, Margaret Court uh, has 24. And this guy uh, really stood up for medical freedom, stood up for bodily autonomy. In the crowd was Bill Gates actually also watching this while Novak, the unvaccinated player who wasn't allowed into the country, comes back a year later and wins. A, a year ago, what happened was he had received a uh, he received an exemption. So he had previously been infected with covid and he received the proper exemptions in order to get into the country that was approved. But when he got there, because he was such uh, because he's a, an influencer, they said, because he has a lot of uh, sway and people know him, they actually the government argued in court, they admitted that he had the proper paperwork. They admitted that he had very little risk to the public health because he had been previously infected. Of course, now we know the vaccine doesn't stop the spread anyway, So, um, which many of us knew that back then as well, but the Australian government was still being very tyrannical about it. They knew this and they admitted in court he poses little health risk. However, they still deported him because they said that he basically was uh, a boon to the anti-vax movement that he was somebody that was going to be fueling the anti-vax flame. And so they ultimately rounded up the number one tennis player and would not allow him to compete in the Australian Open, which really, you know, Nadal ended up winning that year. And I say you win with an asterisk. If the player is there to play and they end up being booted, then did you really win? This year, Australia did drop the vaccine mandate. Novak was able to get in. He was able to compete. And all of us were rooting for him. All of us that saw and were appalled by Australia's treatment last year rooted for him, wanting him to win as a uh, just really to win for all of us. And in fact, he knew it was for all of us. He knew that this was a big win. Here's his speech that he gave uh, after winning. I have to say that this has been one of the most uh, challenging tournaments I've ever played in my life, considering the circumstances. Um, not playing last year, coming back this year, and... Oh yeah, congratulations to Novak for getting Novaks. Congratulations to all Serbians for showing that you guys have guts. Congratulations to all the purebloods who decided to stand firm, take the consequences on, because now we're not having all these different heart issues that no one can explain why a bunch of 25 and 35 and 40 year old athletes are you'll have to figure out why that is i make no recommendations why i think that is i'll just let you kind of piece that together the point is congrats to novak djokovic you got no facts and you still won and that's no djokovic we'll be back with a whole lot more stick around ah.